Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the porch for this January day, the beginning of 2024. I decree that El Shaddai, the God of more than enough, the all-sufficient one, will give you all sufficiency in 2024. You'll have all sufficiency, everything you need, and more than enough because of El Shaddai, the God of more than enough, the all-sufficient one providing for you. All of your needs will be provided uh, according to his riches and glory. Philippians 419, Jehovah Jireh, the Lord, your provider. I pray that he'll be more than enough. You'll anoint your head with oil. Your cup will run over. You're coming into a wealthy place. Wealth and riches in your house. You'll increase more and more, you and your children, a thousand times more, according to Deuteronomy 1.11. He'll teach you the prophet, Isaiah 48.17. You'll break forth on the right hand and on the left, Isaiah 54 and 3. The blessing of the Lord will make rich and add no sorrow, Proverbs 10.33. The wealth of the sinner is laid up for you, the just, Proverbs 13 and 22. Other one should be Proverbs 10.22. And I just decree favor, unusual favor. Unuse your grace more. May the God of more than enough meet all of your needs in 2024. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Well, we're going to move very quickly today. Um, this verse I'm going to read today is Acts chapter 17 and verse 21. You can write it down, Acts 17 and 21. It talks about the Bereans were more noble than those in Thessalonica. And uh, the word noble, I, I find it a very interesting word. When you think of nobility, you think of uh, the nobility, you think of people that are high ranking. The nobles, the kings, the princes, they're high ranking people, high ranking officials, usually in the kingdom, the nobility. And so you think of something high, something high ranking. Now, uh, when you think of no, noble, you think of a character, someone's character that is the highest, the highest character. It means the highest moral character, the highest standard. When you say someone is noble, and let me, let me read one of the definitions of what it means to be noble. Um, I looked up several definitions. I like this one. If you say that someone is, is a noble person, you admire and respect them because, um, because they are unselfish and morally good. They're unselfish and morally good. So to be noble means to have the highest character, to have the highest standard that, that a person can have. It means your standards... And your character is, is, is noble, it's high, and that you operate on, in higher principles, higher ideals. So think of this, more noble. Let's be more noble in 2024. I've been looking at some of the more scriptures. God is more than enough, more than a conqueror. You bring forth more fruit, more and more, a thousand times more, um, the more excellent way. Many scriptures that have the word more in it. I've been decreeing and confessing those scriptures for 2024 um, that, that God would give us more. Uh, how much more shall your father give good things to those that ask him? Here's a good one. They were more noble. So let's let's aspire to being more noble in our character, the way we carry ourselves. The, the word noble means dignity. It, it can be mean to be dignified. Um, of course, we know that David... Was, did, did not seem very dignified when he began to praise the Lord and all of his clothes came off. And um, the, his wife um, said, you, you didn't act like a king today. And he basically said, I'll be more undignified than this. So we're not talking about walking around, not being able to praise God or give God glory. Uh, we're, we're talking about being noble in character. Being noble. Uh, here's a good one. Your speech should be noble. You should speak in a noble way. You know, the fear of the Lord is to hate the froward mouth. You know, if you if you use profanity, if you speak in an undignified way, that is not noble speaking. So it also refers to how you speak. The nobility speak a certain way. 
people of high standard and high caliber, high character, their speech is excellent. They speak in a noble way. They don't speak profanely. They don't use profanity. I, I listen to some of the people speaking on public platforms and I'm horrified as some of the, they're, they're not noble. You can often tell a person who's noble by their talk, by their speech, from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So we should be noble in the way we speak. Our speech should be excellent. As a matter of fact, excellent speech is another manifestation of wisdom. Wisdom. The fear of the Lord is to hate the fraud or the crooked mouth. So speaking in a, in a, in a, a, a noble way, speaking, not speaking in a derogatory way, in a profane way, not using low, low language, um, but having noble character. It can flow through your speech and your actions, the things you do. You don't do things and say things that have a low standard. You have a higher standard in the way you carry yourself, the way you conduct yourself in public and in private. But in public, you conduct yourself in a way that no one can speak against you. Okay, you, you have the approval of men. Uh, you, you, you have high character. You have a moral character that is high. That's what it means. Now, I like what the verse says. It says the Bereans were more noble than those in Thessalonica. Because in Thessalonica, they wouldn't even search the scriptures to see what Paul was saying was correct. They, they just rejected it and came against them acting in a very uh, undignified way. But the, the Berean believers, they were, they had a higher standard in the way they conducted themselves. When they heard the message of the gospel, they didn't react in unbelief and begin to stone and try to kill Paul uh, and gnash upon them with their mouth. They said, let us search the scriptures. Let us see whether or not what Paul is saying is scriptural. And God calls that noble. So noble people search the scriptures. And when they hear a message, they don't react uh, violently and ignorantly and in a way that is, is low. They search the scriptures to see whether or not this is, that, that's noble. That is having a high character. That is looking at what someone is saying and, say, and saying, I'm going to see whether or not this is scriptural. God calls that noble. I, I like that because I believe that's the way we should carry ourselves as believers. Uh, we should be noble in the way we hear people and, and the way we respond to people. Uh, we, we, we should not act in an ignorant, undignified way. Um, we should not act as if we have no standards and no character. And so they were more noble. When you compare the two, the Bereans through the men at Thessalonica, they were more noble. God calls them noble. God likes noble people. We should strive to be noble people. We should uh, strive to have noble character. Uh, we should uh, strive to have noble speech in the way we speak and the way we talk. So let's be more noble in 2024. Let's be noble people. Let's be people of high standard, high caliber, high, high rank in our character, in the way we talk, the way we live. Let's, let's, let's raise the bar high and not act, especially on social media. Don't act in an undignified way on social media. There are people on social media, the things they say and the, and the way they act is just so it's not noble. It, 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 it is, it does not represent the highest character and the highest standard of, of the way God wants us to act and to present ourselves. So let's be more noble, uh, in 2024. Um, I'm calling it the year of the more. And I thought this would be an interesting verse, uh, Acts 17 and 20, 21. So that's it. Short message today. We'll come back and wrap it up this week. Uh, the second week of 2024. Don't forget your seed. If you want to sow $20.24 for 2024 or your first fruit. And again, go to AJE uh, Global, AJE Global. If you're using Cash App or if you're using PayPal, uh, go to Apostle JE, um, uh, PayPal at Apostle JE, the number one. All right. Thank you so much for those who have come on 
uh, here on Facebook Live. We're going to continue the discussion in Clubhouse. And as always in departing, until you hear from us again, God bless you and double shalom. God bless.